Hey Google, play Max Gorn highlights on YouTube. Okay, playing on TV. If he kicks this, you would assume he's the man with the right hand. That should just about seal Essendon's fate. Whoa, he's got it to go at right angle. Well, almost. Now, 15 gone, they said. 26 seconds, 25, 24. Gorn using all of the available time. Remember, the clock doesn't stop until the goal umpire signals what it is. 16 seconds, 15 seconds. Gorn has kicked the goal. Seconds left. Gorn has missed to put Melbourne in front, and Geelong are going to win. This is where he missed against Geelong to lose the game. Maxi Gorn, remember he kicked it left. Identical, identical. Maxi's kicked the identical kick from the identical spot. Different situation, I know. What do you have to do that for? A little bit of angst going on behind the play. Obviously, the frustration. Oh, look at that little bit of a bubble. Oh, geez, I'm not a hell of a lot in that. Jamie Cripps hitting Maxi Gorn. Maxi's uh, about 30 kilos heavy. Fremantle need three goals in four minutes to win it. Oliver attacks it, gave it to May. Melbourne fans love him all of a sudden. In Jesse Hogan's old number. Oh, Hill! He crept up behind him like a church mouse, Max Gorn. Didn't know he was coming. High one inside 50, looking for Kennedy. Attracted a crowd, Gorn down there as well, still controlling it. Just in his fingertips, he went straight to the line and it's deliberate. It. They're home, they've won a long time ago. Gorn, nicely read Burn Jones. You know, Lever and May, top of the score, Max Gorn. Yeah, Max. Oh, there's obviously Max <laughs> trying to sell some dummy, but... Liam Ryan saying, kick up my way, I want to jump over the pack and here he comes! Oh. <laughs> Wow, what about that? He wouldn't have had much gas left in the tank because he was up the ground seconds before that. Floats it in the Gorn direction. Whiteman, what about that climb? Whee, what about that? And he's on the top of Max. That's huge. Burn Jones did well. Butters through a bit of traffic back to Lena. Into the pocket, big five from Georgianis! What a perler! It was like the schoolyard when you knew whose ball it was. It was just whether they get the sit and reel it in, and he did. Petrarca, still the handballs flow. To Spargo, runs, kicks. Got a little unselfish in the end. Could have fired a goal. They might end up with him. Max wanted to go one way, went the other. Burton bounces. Tricky. Gorn comes again. This time pick it. In, in essence, he's a second-year player. Five-point margin. Less than four minutes to go. Holding on in the ruck. And it's going to be a free kick to the Eagles. Margin 18 points. Four minutes to go in the opening term. Shallow throw. Gorn. Hit it straight down to Rowe. He says, thanks, Max. Jackson direction. Did he get held out of it? Through comes Gorn on the left. And he missed the lot by a long, long way. Maybe centre that one too, BT. Outside five or on the line. Maybe centre that one too. Yes. <laughs> Maybe if it's a crumbing 40 yep. pick it, I'd probably no, pick it, take it. Maxie Soap. The skipper. And he misses. Inaccuracy hurting Melbourne badly tonight. He heads in the Walters' direction, won't get near him, although, ball to the back to Cox, Walters running for him, Cox broke through a tackle, a sin, and he nailed it. And, and Bradley, Bradley Hill, Hill yeah. being able to run the ball out, they're the ones you want to keep it away from. Now Hold they'll get up. a chance to reload very quickly, and they'll probably be... Nice. Hey Google, play that again.